this color is very interesting. It's not a like a bright red, like in your face red. It's it's more of that, you know, lucky craft, clear water style. Oh God, he, he got it right there. How's it going y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We have a bright and sunny day to dangle with. I'm out here with my boy, Andrew Flair, also known as the Beaver Slayer or the, the, the Muskrat Manihilator. I don't know, I just made those names up, but uh, he's come down from his flooded uh, floodedness. He's basically Noah's Ark up there. If y'all don't know who he is, you can check out his channel right now and uh, check out some of the stuff he's been doing behind the scenes, just being a good Samaritan up there. Anyways, always good to fish with people that have good energy. So I'm fishing with him today. Um, Peric's been out here as well. Uh, if you want to check out his van, uh, he gets upset when you call it a van. It actually is a van, but it's an RV. I Everybody just said I'm too lazy like, to do it. Yo, you didn't yeah. I say in yeah. the? Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. no. But um, my idea isn't really to catch like that's my goal, and yeah. I might just live out of the thing until I'm like 80, you know? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Brackley. I already told the audience go check out your van video. Thank you. So that's there. Any other little tidbits they can check out over there? Um, I just cooked some sausage. There's some big fish in here. I think you guys are going to film a banger. All right. Well, Flair oh, here. Oh. So those guys are going to be linked down below. And today we are sponsored by Mystery Taco Box. That's right. Me and Flair are going to be dangling with the Pro Box today. And hey, guess what? If you want to get signed up, for these boxes, get them shipped right to your house, ready to dangle every month. It's easy, I'm gonna have a link listed down below. Go and click it, and guess what? Use the code MONDO, and you can get your first box for as low as five bucks. Five bucks, pretty cheap. And there's a lot of good hard baits and stuff in there, stuff that you're gonna use a long time. Uh, keep in your tackle box, keep in your mystery tackle box. So. Uh, this video is sponsored by them and we're gonna go through some of that stuff, but first of all, let's talk about the conditions Wabam is the moon up there. No, it's not there sun's way up there, but the full moon is in effect Actually, the moon is so bright. They're calling this a super moon a super What do they call it super red moon or su super blood moon. super blood moon? I mean, it's crazy and the water is on the cusp of spawning last time you guys saw me dangling I had a big fish, they were moving up shallow, and well, today we're gonna see if anything's different. We're gonna see what's going on with this full moon, water temperatures, and all that. It's close, I can smell it. Flair's gonna get it popping right here. Yeah. With that man beard, he's doing it, doing it strong. While he's doing, uh, while he's getting it, get us started here, since he's already got his, uh, He's got already got his danglers ready from the, from the box. I got to do the same. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna go through this just briefly. Uh, every pro box comes with the cards. You can see what's in it. You can see uh, what the prices are and everything. So we have a Weston Swim. We have a Lucky Craft LC 1.5 SSR. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna just show you as I'm breaking them out. Now the Weston Swim, that is an actual like glide bait. I would consider that. Um, and this is the Lucky Craft. I'm gonna swim this over this grass out here. I can already tell you. Really small bill on that guy for super shallow. And guess what? It's a Rayburn Red. You know where Rayburn is? That's where RT Gibbons is from. Daggum! RT out there in ET. We got uh, Biospawn Exo Swim, which is probably one of my favorite baits ever from uh, uh, that I get in my boxes from Mystery Tackle Box. I put these on chatter baits. I use them on uh, one of their other baits, the flat, the the uh, flashbang. Shimmer Shad is a a drop shot style bait. They're hooking you up with some drop shot weights, some different drop shot weights. You got some cylinder style and some ball style. Looks like we got ourselves a, a bio bait infused with fish oil. Now I had another package of these earlier that I opened up and it stanks. It's got some stank juice on it, but hey, fish like a little stank juice. And we have uh, stickies, wacky rig, this hook on a weightless bait because the conditions, um, they've changed. You know, it was kind of windy this morning. Peric was uh, catching them, he was running around the banks, he was saying, but now that it's slicked off, we have a full moon, these fish are probably gonna be locking down on some beds this afternoon, next couple days, gonna be finicky. 
just got that good old fashioned f spawn feeling it's about to happen. Uh, this is gonna be the juice with a weightless bit, I can already tell you. A delicious box for the month of March, and the good thing about it is they do all the research. You don't have to go menandering around. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just heard an actual frog. About to make our first cast here, but before we do, we'll try putting this little red crank on. I have a feeling this, this might have some play here. I love throwing red lipless crankbaits in the pre-spawn. I'm kind of in the tweener phase right now. So this little square bill, I mean, it looks like a square bill. It is a square bill technically, but it's probably gonna run more like a wake bait. I think it said it runs like 1.5 feet max. So fishing real grassy lakes like we're at here today. I've been fishing all over the place, like different, different sorts of lakes this month. Uh, really big lakes. I fish rivers, um, and today we're fishing a, a small lake. You know, so I wanted to try to see how that is different. If it's all the same from all these other places, is it warming up quicker than these other big lakes? Just don't really know. But we're about to find out. This little Lucky Craft crank it, it is staying above the grass pretty nice. We're entering into a. It's like a flat right here, or it's, it's turning into a flat in the back. And this thing doesn't go very deep. So I'm holding the rod tip up to try to keep it high. You, you honestly could probably throw some mono or braid on here and just swim it at the surface, but it dives down just enough to kind of nick that grass where I'm at, where it goes down about two foot. And then I can just, you know, pop it out of there, just like a regular lipless style crankbait. But this one <laughs> floats back up. So what I'm hoping is there's going to be some bass that are like way up on here, you know, really cruising the flats right now. And I might just surprise one, make a real long cast. This, this color is very interesting. It's not a, like a bright red, like in your face red. It's, it's more of that, you know, lucky craft, clear water style. Oh God, he, he got it right there. He came up and got it right there. Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. He freaking wham bammed it. Dude, it's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. As we're talking about it, he came and freaking annihilated it. Golly, you joking me? Golly. This, this feels like some Bill Dance type stuff. He absolutely hammered it. Come here, buddy. Can you believe that? I mean, it's gone. It is gone. Oh my gosh. That's a slurpy magoo right there. Whew. Look at that, that thing is gone in his mouth. You know, it's kind of like a, uh, a translucent crawl. Let's get this thing out of his mouth and I can show you. There you go. All right, let him go real quick. See ya. Bass's blood coagulates with water, not with air. So if they're bleeding, make sure to try to get them in the water as fast as you can. There it is right there, translucent crawl. Bright little orange on the bottom. Clear sides, Rayburn red in the center, little black magic at the top, and a short little bill. That's a, that's a cool little color. All right, that was fun. I'd like to get all my bites like that. Looking at water temps at 61.7 right now. Oh yeah. It is getting up there for sure. I think that these fish are probably gonna start bedding up this afternoon. And all we're doing right now is just kind of working moving baits up in some shallow grass flats. That was a bite. Got him? I got him. Oh yeah. Flare looked nice fish, dude. Yeah, we're hooked up. That's a big one. That's a good one. That's a that's hog. Right that's there. a hog. <laughs> Come on, fish. Yeah. Dude, that's a fatty. That is a pre-spawn fatty. That is a fatty. And number two just came up and I didn't see that one but he loaded up on it right in that grass all right there we go let that little fun little biscuit go mmm little tail flap on the way out no nope. just a just a decent one but he, he hit it like a jig like you were just saying oh my gosh sideways in the mouth that's how you know that's how you know folks Hit the, oh boy, can I, oh, there we go. Yeah, I slung him. 
look at that y'all if you ever catch a bass and they're eating the crankbait like that you know you have a color situation figured out sideways head first gobble gurk in it open mouth whammer jammed it hit the like button for new lingos this year 2019 we need to get some t-shirts flowing with that let me know in the comments if you'd if you'd like some of that action okay let that guy go i mean it just barely could fit in his mouth active feeders i wasn't really expecting us to get on some active feeders here but no. we're getting it going get that let that guy go had a little blood happening uh flair's definitely got the the big fish so far nice big fatty i'm maybe getting the the more aggressive males on this uh on this selection but i'm having fun so i'm just gonna keep it in my hand I'm, I'm might switch to that uh that glide bait the western glide bait if i'm not getting any big fish there's another one right there male just on this little point right here wah bam wah bam about the same size this uh this little flat we were just in and it, it's got a point right here and i think they're setting up on it before they really move back there 61.9 we're about to hit that 62 degree mark y'all you know what's gonna happen after that mm. pretty fish pretty fish little spot on the tail like a red okay here we go Woo, baby i thought it was gonna be a soft plastic deal but turn it on with a hard bait it's good stuff up there in that hole maybe come on man get your shot oh gosh got it on the pause and that's a dandy got it on the pause it's another male paused it floated it and he gobble gurked it head first my gosh this is cool i thought that was gonna be a big one I, i'm thinking they're gonna be big ones when they hit it because it's just it's like boom it's like a texas rig y'all look at that head first whammer jam mtb thank you for this new color selection might have to look for some more crankbaits in this color. I like it a lot. You can find it Raymond yeah, what is it? Raymond Raven Craw. I almost didn't even have that fish hooked. It's just, it wedged. It was a wedge hook, wedge lodge situation. But what I did there, you guys probably saw it. We'll back that up for a sec, but let the crankbait float up like it's getting away. It's coming up top and then poof, grabbing it. And there's a lot of males coming up, pulling up shallow right now and starting to get aggressive Woo, y'all that is a, that is another sign flair just caught a fat hey, black crappie that thing would look awesome on the wall maybe at the new guggen hq but hey that's a sign that the bass are about to really start spawning the crappie spawn right beforehand and I honestly kind of want to break out the crappie rods right now and just start casting little uh like little spinners up up there in the shallows but we're gonna stick with bass i'm gonna resist the urge the swim uh this this guy's a slow sink you kind of just oh. reel it it does that side to okay. side you know it's like a, it's like hey bite me come and bite me now the only thing is i can't let it sink into the grass glide baits are kind of fun to throw when bass are you get those big females that are finicky you know like you see them cruising around and then um they're not really eating your finesse stuff you throw that glide bit out there and they're like oh what's that let me get some of that yeah so maybe i'll just wait to throw that and when i count encounter that situation hopefully we do it's key to have some polarized sunglasses so you can see these patches nowhere to stop your bait Keep it rolling, bust it through, twitch it, all the things you do with the bait. This thing is just wobbling right through that stuff. It's really good, it's really good. I'm actually pretty excited about discovering this one. Ooh, ooh yeah, he got it. Hammered it, hammered yeah, it. Yeah, hammered it. Hammered it. About took it away from me. Oh yeah, fun times. Yeah, beautiful. A little spotted tail. Another spotted tail. Sign of a good fishery. You're catching them. They got those those dots on them like that. Like a little spotted cow. Male fish. 
Nice healthy though, not spawned out yet. <clears throat> Let me try the lock. Like that. There. Nope. That's it. Now we're All good. Right. We're good. So, um, do you hear programming when I'm not speaking with you clearly? Uh, yeah. Most of the, yeah, uh, I can hear the programming. The uh, okay. Louder than that. Tree that is okay. uh, pretty saturated. Flair is giving a live interview with the Weather Channel about all the flooding and stuff, the stuff I was telling you about at the beginning of the video. So we've literally been out here fishing, okay. and that now we're just taking a break so he can yeah. do his his Weather Channel thing. So, <laughs> guys, go check it out. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what to do right now. Are you doing it live? Yeah, eight minutes. Eight minutes. I don't. I'm uncomfortable. The da right? the dangle like hour. I don't it's like this. The, so. the Weather Channel. Who would guess? I'm so proud of Flair. I think he's gonna be to hold the keys to the state of Nebraska one day. Be be the. Uh, be the mayor of uh, Omaha or, you know, something's going down. This man is, this man's doing big things. He's on the Weather Channel. I can't say that. Dang up. Weather, we watch it all the time. It's where we get our fishing reports. You should just interrupt, dude. You should be like, yep, fishing's real good out here. Everyone that's wondering, full moon right now, they're on. We're catching them on crankbaits. Oh, this is super uncomfortable. This is not what I wanted. Anyway, I'm not going to record the interview. Uh, he's got to get serious. But yeah, if he gets serious, I cannot laugh yeah. during this. This is actually going to be on the Weather Channel, so if you guys want to see it, you know, I'm sure he'll have something on it over there. So anyway, back to dangling. Yeah, there it goes. I see the leader. Is it rolling? Yeah, you're good. Oh, dude. This thing, I, what is this? It's just a good bass. Look at him. Oh gosh. He's it's got it's gotta be going. Oh man. Sitting here waiting for Flair to do his interviews, you know. And uh just catching a mondo. That's all. <laughs> that was actually on your rod. <laughs> well my rod, but your bait. Which bait was that? That weightless bait? Yeah, the stick bait. Oh, Nice. We'll give it a sniff. Flair's got to get to his interview. He's filming me. <sighs> I love you. You're, we'll call you the Weather Channel fish. Love you, baby. That's what I caught out. That's what Flair was doing for his box, but, you know. Just, I, while I'm waiting, I thought I'd dang What's that? You know what I mean? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's about to go down. All right. Oh, got one. Got him on the crank, baby. As soon as we got into a little bit of wind. Little guy, come up and crush it. So we started seeing cruisers in the, in the calm area. We could literally see what's going on here. These males coming up here, getting ready. And we got into a little bit of wind. Broke out that crank again. Bow! Spooked it. Oh, yeah. sorry about the, uh, that was a GoPro error there. <laughs> Crankbait was just stopped. Then I stopped the camera. Wabam. Just as predicted right on the corner or this point with some grass. And Slappy Magoo hit it there. That fish uh, didn't inhale it quite like the others, but it stopped it like it meant it. Look at that. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Sally, that's a nice fish. See you, baby. The craw crank continues, y'all. Mm. 
little afternoon bite. We don't have much time. We got to get back for another Guggen adventure this evening, me and Flair. But uh, we're going to go to our juice bank, which is called the juice bank. That's where you really dialed it in and see if we can get a few more bites. I think we will, especially because the wind's the same and everything. I think at different parts of the lake, they're going to be really feeding. Other parts of the lake, they're going to be bedding, and you've got to really, they're not going to, they're not going to eat. So let's see if we can get a couple more fish over here on this bank flare. Snack a couple on this crawl crank. I get three more casts. You get three more casts. Three more. We're on a time crunch here. I got three more. Three more in me. I'm giving it the good cranks here, pauses. I'm giving her all she's got. Oh, got him, got him. That's a big crappie. That's how I want to end my day, baby. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that big old crappie, yes, oh, there it go. Oh my gosh, he absolutely hose hounded it. Look at that big one. Flair, we need to come back big here and get our crappie rods. Crappie point. Dude. Right here. Dude. That's even better than a bass. I hooked my glove, dadgummit. I'd love to have me a big old sack of those puppies. Mmm. Big old black crappie. That is just awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Heck yeah. I didn't even need my other two casts. That's all I need right there, baby. Go now. See you, baby. Day ender. Gotta love it. Woo, baby. And that is where I'm going to leave y'all today. Ending the dangle on a great crappie and just a good old time out here with Flair. And if you want to go check out his channel, he's linked down below. And don't forget to check out your Mystery Tackle Box subscription as low as five bucks with that code mondo it's all down there for you guys the day we're filming this today is the first day of spring and i hope you guys are getting out there and going fishing and don't forget to watch those conditions watch the moon phase look at the water temps if you can and if you don't have uh, a graph if you're just fishing from the bank remember nights in the 50s three or four nights in the 50s usually that that first trifecta in the spring is when the bass really start to move up get shallow and start uh, making those beds so i hope this information helps you guys i hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are don't forget to subscribe right here so you don't miss the next dangle and i'll see you guys later Ooh.